On the 18th of April this year, the RAN unveiled the first of three Ghost Shark Extra Large Autonomous Undersea Vehicles, or XLAUVs. According to Minister for Defence Industry Pat Conroy, quote, This drone is capable of doing intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and, importantly, delivering strike. So it has the ability to be fitted with weapons to deter potential aggressors, end quote. The first production model of the Go Shark will begin construction in 2025 and forms part of the Albanese government's investment of up to 7.2 billion Australian dollars over the next 10 years on the development and acquisition of subsea warfare capabilities and new autonomous and uncrewed maritime vehicles. AUVs will almost certainly make a huge impact on any future conflict between peer militaries. As intelligence assets, they can sit on the seabed outside military ports, recording acoustic signatures of vessels entering and leaving the harbour. As area denial weapons, they can lay acoustic and magnetic mines in maritime choke points. They can carry torpedoes for anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare operations, and are designed to fit inside of standard shipping containers or be carried underneath warships like the Chinese HSU-001 for stealthy deployment. An AUV combines all the strengths of a nuclear submarine without a lot of their weaknesses. They are stealthy, have a long endurance underwater, and provide a very real factor in a potential adversary's cost imposition and attrition calculations in the event of open or even grey zone conflict. They do, however, have some substantial drawbacks, C2 being among the most notable. For those of you who don't know, radio frequency or RF does not travel through water overly well, limiting any command endpoints or data collection from these AUVs to opportunities when it is able to surface or deploy an antenna buoy. They are also limited to their battery life for deployment length. For some, this is a single charge of their onboard batteries, but others, such as the USN's Orca, use a diesel electric configuration allowing the unit to snorkel and refuel at sea, much like a conventional diesel submarine. So much like their land counterparts, the UAS, underwater drones or AUVs are not the wonder weapon that will radically alter warfare as we know it, but they will add a new wrinkle for strategic and tactical thinkers to take into account for the foreseeable future. Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on AEVs or even if you just like the slightly longer content in the comment section below.